Hey everyone, and welcome to our deep dive today. Yeah. Into the world of Ripple's XRP. All right. Uh, it's a cryptocurrency that's been making a lot of noise lately. Definitely, definitely. And uh, and sparking some pretty heated debate too. Oh yeah, for sure. So we've got some really fascinating sources lined up for you today. Looking forward to it. We've got expert analysis. Yeah, yeah. We've got insights from an experienced crypto trader that we follow. Oh, nice. And we're even going to take a sneak peek into a Netflix documentary about XRP. Wow. So that's going to be interesting. By the end of this deep dive, yeah. I think you'll have a much clearer picture of what XRP is all about, mm -hmm. why it matters, yeah. and what the future might hold for this right. digital asset. Yeah, it's exciting. So um, yeah. let's jump right in. Let's do it. Um, so we'll... One of the things that I find really interesting about XRP yeah. is that it's... What is it? It's not really trying to be another Bitcoin. It's kind of carving out its own path. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and it has a really specific purpose, mm -hmm. you know, and that's yeah. to make these cross-border payments super fast and ridiculously cheap. Yeah, I mean, that's what's so fascinating about it. Yeah. It's really targeting a specific niche. Totally. And, you know, that has huge implications for... Like, uh, imagine... Ooh, Go ahead. Imagine sending money across the globe as easily and cheaply as... Oh, I know, right? ...shooting off a text message. It's incredible. Like, that's it, the it, kind of revolution exactly. XRP is aiming yeah. for. Yeah, and that's huge for businesses, individuals. You right. know, anyone who needs to move money around the world. Totally. It's a game changer. Well, and speaking of moving money. Yeah. Uh, Austin Hilton. Yeah, oh, him. This crypto trader that we follow. Mm -hmm. He pointed out in his last video. Yeah. Some really wild XRP price swings lately. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was talking about this. It's been volatile. 24% surge. Followed by this sudden sell-off. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk about a roller coaster ride. That's crypto for you. It really is. Always exciting, you know. It is, but uh, I yeah. mean, I guess okay. those rapid price fluctuations mm -hmm. really highlight the importance of keeping a cool head. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't get too caught up. Don't panic. Yeah. Don't get emotional about it. Yeah. You know, focus on the fundamentals. Okay, so don't panic. Okay. Uh, exactly. But uh, <laughs> there's this article that I saw on you today. Okay. That was talking about a death cross. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Looming on the XRP price chart. Oh. And yeah. I have to admit, that sounds pretty ominous. It does sound a little scary, doesn't it? Yeah. Can you break that down for us? Sure, sure. Like, what is this death cross, and should we be worried? Okay, so basically, imagine two ships sailing, right? Okay. One represents short-term price trends. Mm -hmm. And the other represents long-term trends. Okay. And when that short-term ship dips below the long-term one, yeah. It creates what's called a death cross. Oh. Which is basically a signal that the overall direction might be heading down. Oh. But, you know. So it's not a guaranteed prediction. Right. It's not a crystal ball. Okay. It's more like a potential warning sign. Okay. So a heads up. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You know. Yeah. Just something to keep an eye on. But in the case of XRP, this You Today article also mentioned they did, yeah. this thing called an ascending trend line. Right. So can you explain that one to me? Yeah. So imagine like a rising tide, right? Okay. That's kind of providing support, mm -hmm. even though there's a possibility of a downward shift. So it's like a tug of war. It is. It's a tug of war. Between these forces. Holy. Bullish and bearish. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I mean, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? You listening right now, is this death cross right a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah or just a bump in the road for xrp it's hard to say for sure isn't yeah. it yeah, yeah it is and that's what and it leads us to this other point go ahead i think that's so important that's that which is yeah you know don't just focus on the charts right like zoom out yeah and consider the bigger picture exactly look at the fundamentals like what are the fundamental factors mm. driving xrp's value Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So like things yeah, like yeah. it's real world partnerships. Partnerships for sure. Adoption by businesses. Absolutely. And the overall growth of the crypto world. That's huge. Yeah. Right. Because those are the things that actually drive long term value. They are. Those are the things that matter in the long run. Yeah. And that's where things get really interesting for XRP. It is. It's where it gets exciting. OK. But before we dive into all that. OK. Just a quick reminder to visit BrianGarvin.com. All right. That's Brian with an I. Okay. And grab your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Awesome. It's over 12,300 words. 
of life-changing information. Life-changing, right. You simply submit your name and email. Easy. And click the verification link sent to your email address. Got it. The link for that is in Brian's YouTube bio. Okay, I'll check it out. All right, let's talk about the future of finance. Let's do it. Okay, because in one of his videos, okay, uh, this crypto analyst we follow named Crypto Sensei. Yeah, Crypto Sensei, I like him. He made this really bold prediction. Oh, yeah. He believes that by 2027, okay, 10% of global GDP wow. will be tokenized. That's a lot of tokenization. It's a lot. Yeah. So what exactly does that mean? Yeah, break it down for us. Like, why should we care about tokenization? Yeah, 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 good question. Okay, so tokenization is basically like turning real-world assets, right. like a piece of property or something, mm -hmm. into digital tokens on a blockchain. Okay. So imagine being able to invest okay. like $100 yeah. in a token that represents right. a share of the Burj Khalifa. That iconic skyscraper in Dubai. Exactly, that one. Yeah. And then you could actually earn dividends. Wow based on its rental income. That's incredible. Right. Yeah. That's the kind of accessibility and fractional ownership that tokenization unlocks. So it could like yeah. revolutionize how we invest in and own things. It could. It has the potential to. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, totally, totally. And you know, tokenization can potentially unleash yeah. trillions of dollars in illiquid assets. Wow. Making them much easier to buy, sell, and manage. So we're talking about we are. increased liquidity, yeah. transparency, mm -hmm. and accessibility to a whole new world of assets. Exactly. You got it. That sounds like a win-win to me. It does sound pretty good. But I'm... what about the challenges? Right. They're always challenging. What are some of the things we need to be thinking about? Well, for one, yeah. we need robust regulatory frameworks. Okay. Imagine the Wild West of the early internet. Okay. That's kind of where tokenization is right now. Got it. So we need So we need some rules. We need rules. Yeah. We need guidelines to protect investors right. and make sure these markets operate right. safely and fairly. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's not just about the technology. It's not just about the tech, it's yeah. about building trust. Right, making sure everyone plays by the rules. Exactly. Okay, so Yeah. How does XRP fit into all of this? Well, here's the key. Okay. XRP is specifically targeting banks. Okay. And financial institutions. So they're going head to head with SWIFT. They are. That's what SWIFT is, right? Yeah, SWIFT is the current system okay. used for international payments. Okay. It's like the old guard. So SWIFT is like yeah. sending a letter by carrier pigeon. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Slow. Expensive. Like, so, so. And you never quite know when it'll arrive. Exactly. Got it. So XRP is offering a faster, cheaper. Way cheaper. And more efficient way to move money across borders. That's the goal, yeah. Like sending a text message instead of that carrier pigeon. Yeah, think of it that way. Okay. Instant, practically free, and you get confirmation right away. Wow, that carrier pigeon analogy really paints a picture. It does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, so in this race between pigeons and text messages, yeah. does XRP actually stand a chance against a giant like swift right because they've been around forever they have it's a tough battle for sure yeah they have a massive a network. Huge network yeah deep relationships with all these banks absolutely they're deeply entrenched so is swift just like yeah. sitting back and watching all this happen they're not just sitting back no oh. they're working on their own improvements okay they recognize the need for faster and cheaper payments okay but xrp has a significant head start Okay. Their technology is designed specifically for this purpose. And they're racking up partnerships okay. with financial institutions all over the world. Yeah, speaking of partnerships, yeah. uh, Crypto Sensei was highlighting yeah. you know, Ripple's growing list of collaborations with banks. They're definitely making moves. Yeah. They're not messing around. Yeah. They're really positioning XRP as the bridge yeah. between traditional finance and the crypto world. It's interesting. And those partnerships are essential, yeah. you know, for driving mainstream adoption. Right. Because it's... But it's a competitive space. It is. You know, other cryptocurrencies are vying for a piece of the pie. Yeah. Even tech giants are getting involved. It's a race. It's a race to see who yeah. can build the best system. Yeah. Attract the most users. Right. And ultimately shape the future of finance. And the stakes are high. They are. They are. I mean, we're talking about no. trillions of dollars trillions, yeah. flowing through these systems every day. Every single day. So even if we're not bankers yeah. or financial experts, right? why should we care about yeah, it? Yeah, why should we care? Which system wins this race? 
Good question. How does any of this impact? How does it affect us? Our everyday lives. Yeah, you know, it's all about making the world a more connected and efficient place. Okay. Imagine being able to send money to your family overseas so, instantly. Yeah. And without paying those crazy fees. I like that. Or picture small businesses yeah. being able to pay suppliers and receive payments right. from customers around the globe yeah. in real time. Yeah. That's the kind of future. It's a good future. That XRP is working towards. That's a future I can get behind. Me too. Okay, but remember earlier? Yeah. When we talked about tokenization? Right, tokenization. And that crazy prediction? Yeah. That 10% of global GDP? It was a bold prediction. Could be tokenized by 2027. 10%? That's a lot. It's a lot. Can you it is, give us some more yeah. concrete examples of? Yeah, of course. What that could look like? Yeah in the real world. Okay, so let, let's say you've always dreamed of owning a piece of prime real estate. Okay. But you don't have millions of dollars lying around. Right. Right? <laughs> With tokenization, yeah. you could actually own a fraction of a luxury apartment building. Okay. A vineyard in Napa Valley. Nice. Or even a shopping mall. Wow. All through a digital token. That's amazing. These assets become much more liquid. Okay. Meaning they're easier to buy and sell. Yeah. And it opens up investment opportunities yeah. that were previously out of reach for most people. So it's not just about it's not just about banks and big institutions anymore. The big guys, no. It's about empowering everyday people. It's empowering everyone yeah. to invest and participate. Yeah, to participate in this global marketplace of tokenized assets. You got it. That's incredible. It is. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. But I know there are always two sides to every coin. There are. There are. What about the potential downsides? Yeah, the risks. Or challenges that we need to be aware of. Absolutely. You know, when it comes to tokenization. Yeah, you're right. With any new technology, there are risks to consider. Yeah, like what? Well, security is paramount. Okay, that makes sense. We need to make sure these tokenized assets yeah. are protected from hacking and fraud. Right. And then there's the whole question of regulation and oversight. Yeah. How do we how do we make sure these markets operate fairly and transparently? Right. And how do we prevent them from being used for illegal activities? Those are big questions. They are. They are big questions. Yeah. That need to be answered. They need to be addressed. If tokenization is really going to take off. Absolutely. So it's not just about technology. It's not just about the tech. Yeah. It's about building trust. Right. People need to feel confident okay. that their tokenized assets are safe. Yeah. And that the systems they're using are reliable. So it's a balancing act. It is. It's a balancing act. Between embracing innovation yeah. and making sure it's done responsibly. You got it. And that's it, it, where and that's where education and awareness come in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The more people understand about blockchain technology, yeah. cryptocurrency and tokenization, right. the better equipped they'll be to make informed decisions right. and navigate this new landscape. Okay, well, let's go back to Warren Buffett for a moment. Okay, Warren Buffett. What do you make of his decision to sell off his bank stocks? It's a head scratcher, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Because crypto sensei seem to think it could be a sign yeah. that even the most seasoned investors right. are starting to lose faith in the traditional banking system. It's possible, I mean. I mean, Buffett is a notoriously savvy investor. He is. He is. So his actions are always closely watched. People pay attention when he makes a move. Right. That's for sure. And we can't know for sure what his motivations are. We can't. We don't have insider information. But his move certainly adds fuel to the debate. It does. About the future of finance. Yeah, it really does. Right. Yeah. Is this the beginning of a major exodus from traditional banks? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. Or are <laughs> banks simply evolving right. to meet the demands of a changing world? It's probably too early to say for certain. Yeah, I think so too. Banks have a knack for adapting. They do. And overcoming challenges. They've weathered many storms. They have, they have. But they can't afford to be complacent. They can't rest on their laurels. Right. They need to embrace new technologies. Yeah. Find ways to offer customers what they want and okay. figure out how to thrive. Right. In a financial landscape that's rapidly evolving. Yeah. And maybe that's where Back XRP through. and other cryptocurrencies come in. Yeah. Maybe that's the key. Right. They offer potential solutions. Okay. To many of the challenges banks are facing. Like what? Well, they can make payment systems faster, All right. cheaper, 
and more efficient, mm -hmm. they can enable the tokenization of assets, right. opening up new markets and revenue streams. Right. And they can help banks connect with new customers yeah. and expand their reach globally. So it's not necessarily about... It's not about... Crypto replacing traditional banking. Right. It's about... It's about finding ways right. for the two to work together right. and create a financial system that benefits everyone. So it's about collaboration. Collaboration. And innovation. And innovation, yeah. Not yeah. disruption for its own sake. Exactly. It's about working together right. to make things better for everyone. Okay. You know? Yeah. And I think... The most successful financial institutions of the future... Yeah. ...will be the ones that can bridge the gap between the old and the new. Right. So take the best of both worlds. Exactly. Take the best of both worlds to create a truly global and inclusive financial system. Okay, now before we move on okay. to the next exciting piece of this deep dive. I want to remind you to visit BrianGarvin.com. All right. That's Brian with an I. Got it. And get your free affiliate guide. Awesome. Titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. That's 10 Steps, All right. It's over 12,300 words. Wow. Of life-changing information. Life-changing. Simply submit your name and email. Easy. And click the verification link sent to your email address. Got it. The link for that is in Brian's YouTube bio. Perfect. I'll check it out. Okay. So, you know, we've talked a lot about the potential of XRP yeah. and tokenization to change the world of finance. Yeah. But we haven't forgotten about that upcoming Netflix documentary. Oh, yeah. On XRP. That's right. We haven't talked about that yet. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they tell this story. Me too. I'm curious to see how they handled the complexities yeah. of XRP's journey. Yeah, it's been a wild ride. The regulatory hurdles. Right, all the ups and downs. And this passionate community. Yeah, the XRP army. That has grown up around it. It's a fascinating story. Yeah, you know, and documentaries have the power. They do. To educate. Absolutely. Inspire well, and spark important conversations. It could really get people thinking. I hope this one will do just that. Me too. And maybe it'll give us even more to talk about. Oh, sure it will. I'm sure it will. Yeah. But for now, let's shift gears a little bit. Okay. And bring it all back to you, the listener. All right. How could XRP, tokenization, yeah. and this evolution of finance impact your life, mm -hmm. your investments, and your future? That's the big question. It is. So stay tuned for the final part of our deep dive. I'm ready. Where we'll explore exactly that. Let's do it. So we were discussing XRP's potential to really shake things up. Right, in the world of cross-border payments. Exactly. And you were explaining how XRP compares to SWIFT. Right. That system that banks currently use to move money all over the world. The old guard. Yeah. Yeah. And from what Crypto Sensei said, yeah. XRP seems to have some serious advantages. Definitely does. When it comes to speed mm -hmm. and cost uh -huh. and real-time transaction capability. Oh, yeah, for sure. So think about it this way. Okay. Swift is like sending a letter by carrier pigeon. That's a good analogy. It takes days. Yeah, it does. Costs a fortune. A lot. And you never quite know when it'll arrive. Right. XRP, on the other hand, yeah. is like sending a text message. Instant. Oh. Instant. Practically free. Practically free. You get confirmation right away. Okay. Much better. Right. I mean, e even I can understand that. Yeah. But let's be real for a second. Okay, let's be real. Swift has been around forever. Forever. They have a huge network of banks. Yeah, they do. And a reputation for being reliable. Yeah, they've built that up over time. It's going to be tough to beat. Can XRP really compete? That's a good question. With that kind of established player? It's David versus Goliath, right. without a doubt. It is. But here's the thing. Okay. Even Goliath has to adapt to survive. Swift knows that the world wants faster, cheaper payments. Right. And they're working on improvements of their own. Okay. But XRP has a head start okay. with technology designed specifically for this purpose. Right. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. So it's a race to the finish line. It is. It is. Who can build the best system? Uh huh. Get the most users. Right. And ultimately, the future of finance. Change the future of finance. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And the prize is enormous. It is. It is. Trillions of dollars. Trillions. Flowing through these systems every day. Every single day. But let's zoom out for a moment. Okay, let's zoom out. Why should the average person care? Yeah, why should we care? About which system banks use to shuffle their money around. Right, exactly. How does any of this... How does this affect our everyday lives? Impact our everyday lives. That's a good question. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. it's all about making the world yeah. a more connected and efficient place. 
Right. Imagine being able to send money to your family overseas. Okay. Instantly. Yeah. And without paying those crazy fees. Yeah. Or picture small businesses. Yeah. Being able to pay suppliers, mm -hmm. receive payments from customers around the globe. Right. In real time. Yeah. That's the kind of future XRP is working towards. Okay. Making global commerce yeah. more accessible right. and affordable for everyone. Okay, that's a future I can definitely get behind. Me too. But remember earlier yeah. when we talked about tokenization. Right, tokenization. And that crazy prediction yeah. that 10% of global GDP a lot could be tokenized by 2027. A lot of tokenization. Yeah. It's mind-blowing. Can you give us some more concrete examples? Of course. Of what that could look like in the real world. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's say you've always dreamed of owning a, a piece of prime real estate, okay. but you don't have millions of dollars lying around. Right. Who does? Right. With tokenization. Yeah. You could own a fraction of a luxury apartment building, Okay. a vineyard in Napa Valley, Very nice. or even a shopping mall. Wow all through a digital token. That's wild. These assets become much more liquid, mm -hmm. meaning they're easier to buy and sell. Mm -hmm. And it opens up investment opportunities yeah. that were previously out of reach right. for most people. So it's not just about banks and big institutions anymore. It's not just about the big guys, no. Yeah, it's about empowering everyday people. It's about empowering everyone. To invest and participate in this global marketplace of tokenized assets. You got it. That's incredible. It is. It's pretty exciting. But I know there are always two sides to every coin. Always. What about the potential downsides? Right. Or challenges we need to be aware of sure. when it comes to tokenization? You're right. With any new technology, yeah. there are risks to consider. Okay. Like, what are some things we need to think about? Well, security is paramount. Okay, that makes sense. We need to make sure these tokenized assets are protected yeah. from hacking and fraud. Right. And then there's the whole question of regulation and oversight. Right. How do we make sure these markets operate right. fairly and transparently? Yeah. And how do we prevent them from being used for illegal activities? Those are big questions that need to be answered. They are. If tokenization is really going to take off. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not just about technology. It's not just about the tech, no. It's about building trust. It's about trust. People need to feel confident yeah. that their tokenized assets are safe. Safe and secure. And that the systems they're using are reliable. Reliable and trustworthy. So it's a balancing act. It is. It is a balancing act. Between embracing innovation yeah. and making sure it's done responsibly. That's the key. And that's where education and awareness come in. Education is key. Yeah. The more people understand no, no. <laughs> about blockchain technology. Uh -huh. Cryptocurrency hmm. and tokenization. The better, the better equipped they'll be exactly. to make informed decisions right. and navigate this new landscape. Yeah, it's a complex landscape. Okay, well, let's go back to Warren Buffett for a moment. Okay, back to Warren. What do you make of his decision? Interesting guy. To sell off his bank stocks. Yeah, it's definitely got people talking. It has. Crypto sensei seemed to think yeah. it could be a sign that even the most seasoned investor, even the veterans are starting to lose faith in the traditional banking system. Yeah. I mean, Buffett is a notoriously savvy investor. He is. He is. So his actions are always closely watched. People pay attention to what he does. We can't know for sure what his motivations are. We don't. We don't have that insider information. But his move certainly adds fuel to the debate. It does. It does. It's about the future of finance. Yeah, big time. Is this the beginning of a major exodus? That's a good question. From traditional banks? Hard to say. Or are banks simply evolving to meet the demands of a changing world? You know, it's probably too early to say for certain. Mm -hmm. Banks have a knack for adapting they do. and overcoming challenges. They've weathered a lot of storms. They have. They have. But they can't afford to be complacent. They can't they can't afford to stand still. They need to embrace new technologies. That's right. Find ways to offer customers what they want. Give the people what they want. And figure out how to thrive in this financial landscape that's rapidly evolving. Yeah. Because the world is changing fast. And maybe that's where XRP. XRP and other cryptocurrencies come in. Yeah. They offer potential solutions yeah. to many of the challenges banks are facing. They can make payment systems. Faster. Faster. Cheaper. Cheaper. More efficient. More efficient. Enable the tokenization of assets, yeah. opening up new markets and revenue streams. Yeah. And they can help banks connect with new customers. That's important. Mm. Expand their reach globally. So it's not necessarily about 
crypto replacing traditional banking. It's not. It's not about replacing. It's about finding ways for the two to work together. It's about collaboration. And create a financial system that benefits everyone. Yeah, working together to make things better. So collaboration. Collaborating. Innovation. Regalavis. Not disruption for its own sake. Yeah, it's not about disruption just to disrupt. The most successful financial institutions of the future Yeah. will be the ones that can bridge the gap. That can bridge the gap. Between the old and the new. That's right. Take the best of both worlds. Exactly. Take the best of both. Yeah. And create a truly global, yeah. inclusive financial system. Okay. Now, before we move on. Okay. To the next exciting piece of this deep dive. Right. I want to remind you to visit BrianGarvin.com. Right. That's Brian with an I. Okay. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Awesome. It's over 12,300 words. Wow. Of life-changing information. Right. Life-changing, all right. Simply submit your name and email. Easy peasy. And click the verification link sent to your email address. Got it. The link for that is in Brian's youtube bio perfect you know we've talked a lot we have about the potential of xrp yeah and tokenization to change the world of finance it's exciting stuff but we haven't forgotten oh right about that upcoming netflix documentary yeah the documentary on xrp can't wait to see that yeah. i'm really looking forward to seeing how they tell this story me too I'm curious to see how they handle the complexities yeah. of XRP's journey. It's been a journey. The regulatory hurdles. For sure. And this passionate community that has grown up around it. The XRP army. Documentaries have the power to educate. They do. Inspire. Absolutely. And spark important conversations. They can really get people thinking. I hope this one will do just that. Me too. Maybe it'll give us even more to talk about. I'm sure it will. But for now, let's shift gears. Oh. And bring it all back to you, the listener. All right. How could XRP, yeah, tokenization, mm -hmm. and this evolution of finance, right, impact your life, yeah. your investments, yeah. and your future? That's what we all want to know. Stay tuned for the final part of our deep dive. Okay. Where we'll explore exactly that. Can't we? Welcome back to the final part of our deep dive into XRP. Yeah, it's been a fascinating journey so far. We've covered so much ground we from like the technical details of how XRP works right. to its potential to like revolutionize yeah. the way money moves around the world. Global finance. We've explored yeah. XRP's vision. For a future of faster, cheaper, cross-border payments. Yeah. It's a big vision. Its role in the exciting world of tokenized assets. Tokenized assets. Yeah. And how it stacks up against established players like SWIFT. Right. The old guard. We even touched on that surprising move. Yeah, Warren Buffett. By Warren Buffett selling off his bank stocks. Yeah. It definitely raised some eyebrows. Which has got everyone wondering what he sees on the horizon for traditional finance. Yeah, what does he know that we don't? But now, all right. let's shift our focus yeah, do it. and bring it all home. Back to reality. Yeah. Okay. How could XRP, yeah. tokenization, and the changing landscape of finance mm -hmm. impact your life? your investments, and your future. Yeah, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? It is. How does all this affect us in the real world? So let's start with the everyday impact. Okay, everyday life. Imagine a world. Okay, I'm imagining. Where sending money overseas yeah. is as simple and affordable as sending an email. Wow, that would be amazing. Yeah, that's the kind of change that XRP could bring. It could. To millions of people yeah. who rely on remittances right. to support their families back home. It would make a huge difference for so many people. Yeah, and for businesses. Yeah, businesses too. The potential is just as significant. Imagine instant low-cost international payments. Yeah, streamlining supply chain. Streamlining supply chain. Cutting down on transaction fees, yeah. opening up new markets to companies of all sizes. So it's all about making global commerce more accessible and efficient. Exactly. Breaking down barriers, yeah. making it easier for everyone to do business. And let's not forget about tokenization. Oh, yeah. Tokenization. And its incredible potential. It's a game changer. Think about owning a fraction of a piece of prime real estate. Okay, like a skyscraper in New York City. A valuable artwork. Or Picasso. Or even a stake in a promising startup. Yeah, get in on the ground floor. All through a digital token. A piece of the pie. That's the kind of opportunity. That's right. That was once limited to the wealthy. Only the elite. But tokenization could democratize access exactly. to these investments for everyone. Leveling the playing field. It's about giving everyone a chance 
Yeah. To participate in the growth of the global economy. And build wealth. And build wealth for themselves and their families. It's a powerful idea. Of course, every innovation comes with risks. There's always a flip side. What are some things listeners should keep in mind? Yeah, what should people be aware of? To protect themselves. Yeah, to stay safe. And make smart decisions. Right. In this rapidly evolving world of finance. Well, first and foremost, yeah. knowledge is your best defense. Okay, knowledge is power. Exactly. So what does that mean? It means take the time to learn about blockchain technology. Okay. Cryptocurrency. Yeah. Tokenization. Mm -hmm. Understand the potential benefits. Yeah. But also be aware of the risks. Okay. Don't just jump in blindly. Right. Do your research. Do your research yeah. before investing in any digital asset. And never invest more than you can afford to lose. Okay. That's such important advice. It is. It is. Diversification is key too, right? Absolutely. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So explore different cryptocurrencies. Consider tokenized assets. Mm. Don't neglect traditional investments either. Keep a balanced portfolio. What about regulations? Ah, regulations. It seems like governments around the world are still trying to figure out... Yeah, they're playing catch up. ...how to handle cryptocurrencies and tokenized assets. It's a new frontier for them. Yeah. It's a rapidly evolving space. So it's crucial to stay informed. Stay informed, yeah. ...about new rules and guidelines. Because they can have a big impact on the market. And as with any investment... Patience. Patience is key. The crypto market is known for its volatility. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. So don't panic sell when prices dip. Right. And don't get swept up in hype when things are soaring. Just stay calm. Stay calm and carry on. Focus on the long-term potential. Long game. And make decisions based on solid research. Do your homework. And a clear understanding of your own financial goals. Know what you're aiming for. <laughs> if XRP does become a major player. Yeah. In the future of finance. And if tokenization truly revolutionizes yeah. how we own and exchange value, mm. the implications could be truly profound. It mm. could reshape the way we save, invest, mm. yeah. and interact with the global economy. Yeah. It's an exciting prospect. It is. It's exciting. But it can also feel a bit overwhelming. It can be a lot to take in. We're standing at a crossroads. We are at a turning point. In the evolution of finance. Yeah. And the decisions we make today. Our choices matter. Will shape the world of tomorrow. They will. They will shape the future. Mm -hmm. So as we wrap up yep. this deep dive into XRP. Yeah. I want to leave you with one final thought. Okay. I'm listening. Imagine a future where sending money is as easy as sending a text. Okay where owning a piece of a skyscraper is within reach. I like that. And where financial opportunities yeah. are accessible to everyone, right. not just the privileged few. So a more inclusive and more inclusive and accessible financial system. That's the future XRP and tokenization are working towards. It's a future worth exploring. It is. It is. And before we go, yeah. remember that website we mentioned. Oh, right. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. Okay. That's Brian with an I. Got it. And Get your free affiliate guide. Awesome. Titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 10 Steps, all right. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Life-changing, wow. Simply submit your name and email. Easy. And click the verification links into your email address. Got it. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Perfect. We encourage you to continue learning. Yeah, keep learning. About XRP, mm -hmm. tokenization, yeah. and the future of finance. It's an exciting space. Share your thoughts, ask questions. Yeah, join the conversation. Join the conversation. The world of finance is changing rapidly. It is. And by learning together, yeah. we can navigate this exciting new era with confidence. Right. And make yeah. informed decisions that shape our financial well-being. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It's been a pleasure.